finally it's come to the place where we're going to be blessed with some great music. You know, the Lord does move in a lot of different ways, and He communicates His gospel in a lot of different ways. Sometimes He, he uses words, sometimes He uses preaching, sometimes He uses drama, sometimes He uses music. And we're blessed today to have with us this group again. I was talking with Brother Gene Montgomery, who is going to be standing right here in this place. This is year number what? Six? Nine? Six years. Six years in a row they have come here to be with us at the Ranch House Cowboy Church. Isn't that great? Six years. Six years they've been coming here and just can't get enough punishment from us. So uh, he keeps coming back, and uh, we have been so very, very blessed by the ministry. You know, this is my feelings, and I'm talking to you that are here, a part of the, pan- of the ranch house. This is my feelings. When God sends musicians and groups here to us, I feel like they are here to receive from us as much as they are to, re- to give out the blessing of whatever it is that they're doing. So, and I've heard that so many times from the different ones who have come to us here. They said, Brother Dave, you can't understand how much we receive today for just being here in this place. And I want you to know that's the Spirit of the Lord. Amen? Amen. That's the Spirit of God. So if you will with me, give a very big ranch house warm welcome to the Baggy Bottom Boys. Thank y'all. We, uh, I hope y'all don't think we dressed up for the Porter Wagner show or something like that, but we're... Uh, I want, me, I want you to know for sure that we don't think that we're all that great, that we serve our, we serve our mighty Lord, our, our Jesus Christ is who we're singing for this morning. So with the glitter on us and all, don't, uh, just, just overlook that and, and just worship with us in music. <laughs> Whoa, y'all look good with them overalls this morning. I tell you what, I tell you every year, I said, you know what? Have I ever told you I love this church? I do, i tell you what. Uh, he said, y'all are honoring us by wearing those overalls. It, it's Amen. just uh, awesome. Uh, anyway, like he said, we don't claim to be great uh, musicians or wonderful singers, but we serve a great and wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ. And we try to lift him up in whatever we do. Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You know, Jesus, he gave 100% so that we could be born again and live with him forever. Amen. Thank God. On a hill they call Calvary. He died for our sin. He did it out of love. Love that has no end, a love that's full of mercy, a love that's heaven sent. When Jesus gave us all, He gave one hundred percent from the nails in His hand. the hole in his side to the moon is tears he must have cried the way he must have suffered to the moment that he sin he set us free and it opened heaven's door 
so we could come on in. When Jesus gave his all, he gave 100%. It's called uh, I'm Not Afraid. All right, brother. Daddy tried to guide my ways. He took me to church and taught me how to pray. I'll never forget on his dying day. He said, son, I got something to say. I'm not afraid to make this journey. I'm not afraid to say goodbye. Son, give your life and your heart to Jesus, and I'll see you on the other side. Believe in his 
smile, that smile And he said to me I'm not afraid To make this journey And I'm not afraid To say goodbye Son, give your life and your heart to Jesus, and I'll see you on the other side. And I'm not afraid to make this journey, and I'm not afraid to say goodbye. Son, give your life and your heart to Jesus, and I'll see you on the other side, and I'll see you on the other side. Amen. No doubt. We're going to see him on the other side one of these days, brother. I've got a song here called The Garden. It's about when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he was getting ready to do what he had to do and he knew what was coming. Anyway, it's a friend of mine wrote this one, uh, David Hancock. Anyway, it's called The Garden. Darkness filled the garden as he prayed on bended knee. There he asked his father, won't you take this cup from me? The sorrow that he carried filled his heart with dismay. For he knew what was to happen And the price he'd have to pay Another garden long before When darkness had begun With sacrifice the only way he was sent Prayer and 
mercy, mercy, mercy. Amen. We're going to do this in the key of G. George, can you play in that key? I can play in that key. All right. Now, from here on out, the rest of the service, this is all unrehearsed, man. All right. This is just us up here having a good old time and bringing some glory down from heaven above. Amen. All right? So you all find yourself a spot and jump in there and sing the key of G. Key of G. And I just want you to sing. You have to share mics and, you know, kiss up on each other and do what you got to do, all right? And as far as you bass go, guys go, two basses going here, you just be nice and share, okay? All right. Well, some glad morning when this night is over, I'll fly away. Not quite yet. Always uh -huh. one, one more. It's amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I Campfire for sure. We're glad you're a part of us here. Did you notice what it said in the sixth chapter, though, of Ephesians? These are the words Paul has been talking to the church. Paul has been saying to the church, Be strong. Paul has been telling the church how the church ought to be. He's been talking about parents and he's been talking about children honoring their father and their mother. He's talking about servants being obedient. He's talking about eye service to be men pleasers. That's not what we should be. We're pleasers of God. Can you say amen? 
And then he comes to that great verse where he says in the 10th verse, finally, say that word with me, finally. It's, like a, it's almost like he's, he's given an emphasis here. Finally, he says this, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I love that. Finally, be strong in God and in the power of whose might? His might. How many of you today maybe don't feel too much? Don't, don't, don't raise your hand or anything. But maybe right now you're just saying, Brother Dave, I don't really feel all that mighty. Guess what? You're in a good position. You're in a great place if you don't feel very mighty. Because none of us on our own can carry this. It's only with Jesus. It's only with His help. It's only in the power of His might. And when Paul was saying that to the church, he said, listen, church. He's saying, I want you to understand something. Be strong, but not in yourself. Be strong, but not in your ability. Be strong, but not in your own confidence. Be strong, but not in your own attitude. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. That's what he's saying. Amen. Be strong and be in His might. And then he goes on and he says about putting on the whole armor of God. And we know the story. We know this, this passage of Scripture. Folks, this is time. This is time for us to get geared up. There's not a one of us today who would even consider going out in the public naked. And God says, put on the whole armor. He says, that's your clothing. Put on my salvation. Put on my righteousness. Put on my preparation of the gospel of peace. Put on my breastplate of faith of faith put it on carry the sword with you folks it's not about you and me today just surviving i'm so sorry for people who feel like i'm just existing brother dave talk to him sometimes and i say how you doing well i'm having a bad time i'm just, just sort of surviving listen jesus christ wants you to be more than just a survivor jesus christ wants you to be more than a conqueror he wants you to be more than just making it by the skin of your teeth. And if you're here today, I want you to know it's in the power of His might that you can rise up and be victorious. So think about this with us this morning. You know, I, I, I get blessed every time Eugene and the boys come here. Just a little country punkin' myself, and, and I just love that, that kind of music. But folks, i got to tell you, Jesus is raising up an army of people today. He's raising up an army of individuals who are saying, I'm walking in the might of the Lord. I may have came in here feeling kind of weak and kind of, kind of unstable, kind of wishing things was going a different way. Get ready. Get ready. In the name of Jesus, get ready. Because in the power of His might, you can move forward to greater things. Amen? Bow your heads. I want to pray for you.